Good morning, fellow bass players. Um, I'm going to do another Dixie Chicks tune for you and show you how I go about learning it. Um, I'm picking the Dixie Chicks are great and, um, and Country Western is great. I'm picking this venue of music um, beyond that as musicians because um, I want to uh, concentrate on um, showing you di a diatonic scale, that kind of music, which would be, in, let's see, in the key of A, which is tune, which I'm going to show you in a minute, is in. Now that's very, lots of open strings, lots of four sharps in the key of A, all this kind of stuff that you got to keep in your mind. So we have A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and upper A, all right? Now, as you know by now, if you've been watching my other videos, um, I am an advocate of one string, one fret, and also keeping away from the open strings as much as possible so you can see patterns instead of thinking about notes all the time. I, I rarely think about notes. I think of the central place. I, I sort of camp. I, I establish my campsite, and from there I can go around and gather water, firewood, whatever, and, and always know how to return to where I, where my campsite is. So instead of playing this open A here, I'm going to play this A here, and then my mantra is to use this fingering pattern for every major scale, and etc. So, two, four, one, two. I'm not even thinking of the notes, you notice, all of a sudden. I've established my campsite, so to speak, at A. That's where my tent's pitched. And from there, I'm going to range around. And again, one thing I, I preach is, why just go in north? There's also the direction of south. So down from that campsite. Go in all directions. Now, that's a diatonic scale, a scale that Beethoven, classical music, uh, country western uh, generally uses in the bass. Now, as opposed to something like uh, The Who or Steppenwolf or um, so many other bands that use a pentatonic scale or blues notes. So, this is your scale. Now, as opposed to we're only using the notes that are in the scale uh, unless, uh, for, the mo for the most part. Now, I'm gonna, this, the tune we're doing is um, everybody knows from this Dixie Chicks album right here. All right. Um, and it's a four minute, uh, it's just over four minute tune. It's standard bridge, head, bridge, head. And um, well, let's just talk a little bit about it. Again, um, getting back to the fingerings for a minute. Fourth finger, third finger, get them working together. Okay, now, let's see what we got here. Okay. Now we can do this. The open strings. Instead, let's do this. Notice how I use my left hand to articulate to keep the notes long and short. I'm not doing this. I'm also keeping it simple. It's the first verse of the tune. So you got a long way to go yet. So here we go. Now the bridge, the chorus. And also playing here affects your sound. 
Watch. I'll do. You got to worry about open strings. It's um. It's not as homogenous. Okay. So using this part of the bass. Now I will go into other people's campsites, so to speak, for um, a piece of choice firewood. For in this case, I'm going to be going. I'm going to be putting my second finger here now, so I can do an ornament. You'll see what I'm talking about. I also slide a lot, so watch this tune. Um, get your pinky going. Key of A, don't worry about sharps or, or you know anything like that. You don't have to think about notes. Think about patterns. You're not going to be a professional musician more than likely. You don't, uh, these, these guys don't even read notes. Uh, they use, um, they use their, na their, their Nashville fingering system and, and this kind of thing. Uh, on the other hand, classical player that plays the New York Philharmonic, whatever, um, probably more than likely bass players can't in general play uh, like what like we do without notes. So at any rate, here we go with the tune. It's a nice tune, but it's a great learning tool. down. Work your way back up. Bottom. 
ending, a coda. Do a two chord. Let's answer, up an octave. Tune. We'll have to learn from it. Thanks a lot. Bye.